Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another SP video. In this video, I've got the 404SX out again, and what I'm gonna be doing is something quite interesting. I was digging through a few samples before and came across one which I've already used previously, and it gave me this idea to think, I'm gonna take this sample and try and reflip it and see if my beat making has improved over the last sort of 12 months. So this sample is one that I've used on my first beat tape that I ever released called April Again. And it's the first track on that. If you want to go check that out, I will leave a link to it. I will also play a little bit of the song here as well, just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. So what I've done here on the SX is immediately chopped it again and pulled in some samples. So I'm just going to show you which chops I've got now. Okay, so they're the chops that I've got. So you can hear the kind of little bits that were in the original track that I made, but I've also tried to find a few little different ones as well. I think this is just a really good exercise for creativity as well, just sort of trying to make a different sound and beat from the same sample, so. I've also got this drum loop loaded in. Now I think what I've actually done with that is made that an Ableton. I can't actually remember how this drum loop's come to be in my SX, but due to the the fact that it sounds really tight and uh, the fact that it's a perfect loop already I've def I think what I've definitely done is built that on Ableton and exported it into my SP so that's definitely something you can try yourselves if that's something that interests you you want tighter drum loops make them on the door of your choice whichever one you've got I've got Ableton Live and then what you can do is export that as a WAV and put it straight onto the SD card using the official software from the Roland website, which is the way I get my samples from my computer to the SP. So yeah, I'm gonna start messing around with some ideas now and see if I can come up with something that sounds a bit smoother than the original beat that I ended up making. Okay, so I've noticed straight away that that chop has got a weird thing at the start of it, if you can hear. So I'm going to just fine tune that. Sounds good. Now this is the thing I really like about having a loop built in, you can just let the loop play away and kind of jam and get some ideas. It's a little bit more difficult to do that when you're also tapping the drums along as well, like this. Can be a little bit limiting, so it's cool to have that loop in there ready. really like the sound of these three that I've got here. It's pad two, three, and five. Numbers are wearing off mine so badly now I can hardly see. So these three. I think mainly just because they're quite smooth in the way they come in. There's no like pronounced note at the start of that and that's gonna make for more sort of buttery sounding chops. Okay, so that in itself could probably be a beat. I could work around that a little bit, have that as the main sort of focus. Uh, but let's keep going and see what else we can play around with and make from these chops that I've got.
also really like that but again that pad 4 is giving me a little bit of grief it's got a weird sort of noise at the start of it so I might just completely cut past that to the piano note that comes in that second piano note if you can hear that That's the one I want. Right, that sequence is definitely the one that I want to stick with there. I really, really like the sound of that. After we tweaked that pad 4 there, I just uh, think that's holding itself together really nicely now. So all I'm going to do now really is add a little bit of EQ, and hopefully that pulls it all together. I might also try a bit of compression just when I'm exporting, just to uh, have it bring it the whole track together a little bit more and have that gel that it needs. And that's what the SP is so nice for as well, just adding that little bit of punch or that little bit of grit. So let's mess around with that and try that. I'm going to try some EQ. So I'm going to use the Remain button. And as you can see, all the pads are already actually selected. So now I'm going to add the Isolator. And just take those highs out. Because this is lo-fi, right? We take all the highs out. Okay, jokes aside though, it, it does actually make the beat sound a lot warmer, uh, taking the highs out. And that's the kind of vibe that we're going for with the lo-fi sound. So. We don't want to go too mad on these lows and mids, so 12 o'clock is basically keeping them the same as they are originally. This is reducing, if you move them to the left, this is adding or boosting. So I've turned high down by a quarter and I've left the two, other two like that. I might just put the low up a little bit and the mid down a little bit. But let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Okay, really, really happy with that sound. I think that's a, a nice little loop there. And probably what I'll do now is go ahead and get some more foleys and that kind of thing, some noises to add in under that, but I'm not gonna do that in this video. This was more just of a case of showing how you can get an existing sample and reflip it and make a different beat with it, and it sounds completely new and fresh. And it was also a way of me sort of monitoring my progress as a beat maker as well. I think that's definitely an improvement of the original one that I brought out, which is getting on for probably a year ago now. So really, really happy that my beat making is definitely improving, uh, getting more sort of smoother sounding beats and yeah, just much more pleasant to listen to, I think. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm going to export that beat for you and stick it on the end of the video so you can listen to the full bump. And apart from that, I hope you all have a really, really good Christmas and New Year. I'm going to be recording content over Christmas and New Year because I've actually got time off from my job, but I don't know when I'll be releasing it. I might try and stagger it to keep the channel active. So there will be content coming for, this, for the uh, foreseeable future. So if you're enjoying these videos, please, please hit that subscribe button. As I keep saying, there's about 70 to 75% of you that watch that aren't subscribed. So if you could hit that red button, I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so that is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope this has been helpful, even if it's just to give you some inspiration to go and make some more beats with the same samples that you've even used before, maybe. Check them out, have another listen, and see if there's something new that you can hear. Aside from that, I hope you have a great Christmas and New Year. I'm really excited for next year for this channel and the way it's growing. It's, it could be really good next year, so there's going to be loads of content coming out, as I always say. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. 
because if you do enjoy this content there's stuff like this coming out all the time but yeah aside from that guys just keep making beats and i will be back with you very soon if you've got any questions or comments leave them below and i'll be happy to answer them peace Ha ha ha!